Hello YouTube, welcome back to the farm. We are uh, out here today. We had cut these beams on a previous video and I had been told that you can torch the ends of, uh, of these pine beams and I don't wanna get technical so I'm just gonna say it'll seal the end of it. And then take a 50-50 mixture of diesel fuel and used motor oil and coat the timber with it and and that'll give it some longevity as far as uh, using it as a building material especially in the ground uh, so I'm gonna set up the camera and we'll try I didn't go out and buy a big torch I'm gonna try this if this uh, is successful then uh, we might just stick with it or we might go might go get a torch. I don't know how much it costs. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. This doesn't work very fast, I can tell you that. I think one of those big torches might work better. Plus I painted the ends of these things. say this is a no-go it really doesn't put out the BTUs enough to uh, to be a feasible option I don't think or it might just be too green tell me if you've ever tried that before all right so evidently this works a little better on an area that has not been painted this just took maybe you know 30 seconds but uh, I think we might have to go get this torch. Definitely works better on unpainted wood.
got uh, what's left of two baskets up here. So I'm gonna load everything from this one over here and put in that one and get that one out of the way. Put a new basket up here and uh, be ready for the next. Yeah, it'll last about a week. I don't cry when it rains no more Or I get dirt on my shoes I don't mind climbing eight more floors Cause these stairs are all heading the So we got the firewood done. We got uh, all these six by sixes underneath the shelter here because it's gonna rain over the weekend. And uh, I wanna be able to try out this diesel fuel and oil mixture to coat them with. We've got uh, one more thing I wanna show you. I'll fast forward we get up to the house well I got off work this morning and drove up to Charlotte and got this uh, 100 gallon tank so I went with a steel tank the aluminum tanks were just so much more expensive and after talking with some different people that that use these uh, you know, you're going to put a filter on it anyway. And as far as I know, I'm almost 40 years old. So, you know, if it, if it lasts 40 years, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be using it a whole lot when I'm 80, but who knows? Might still be out here kicking around doing stuff. Uh, but anyway, that'll be a upcoming video. We'll get the, I got the, I got a piston pump for it and a, and a filter inline filter and i think we're gonna put it i'd like to keep it up here near the house so uh, originally i was gonna put it back here in the woods but uh i think i'm gonna come up, just leave it up here at the house and park it right here behind the truck and we can uh we can just bring the tractor up here to it so that's it for today's video we'll come over here and say hey to everybody that's the baby doll sheep, Mr. Finnegan. And you got the two cows out here. One on the right is, uh, oh Lord, what did I name that cow? Vidalia, named her Vidalia. And the one on the left is Penelope. Of course, you got Mary right here. Hey, Mary. That's one of the retired ladies. She doesn't breed anymore. And then you got all the others. They sort of just meander around, stick their heads through the fence and eat the grass on the other side because it's greener, right? All right, that's it for today's video. If you like these videos, please hit the like button. Uh, put a comment down below and share them with your friends. We'll see you next time. Oh, for anybody that was wondering, this is a Massey Harris tractor. So before Massey Ferguson, that uh, was Massey Harris, and this was, I believe, a Massey Harris pony. You can see the, not very good, but you can still see where it says Massey Harris on it. 
this tractor was not here at the farm when we bought it. <laughs> we, uh, we actually, uh, because we have kids come out, we have field trips out here because we're a North Carolina uh, agritourism farm. Everybody always wanted to get on my tractor, and which I was fine with until uh, somebody left the caution lights on or something and the battery was dead the next time we went down there. And I was just like, golly, we should do something. So we got this old tractor so everybody can jump on this thing and play around and uh, not kill the battery.